Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we've got Star-Lord here from Thor Love and Thunder. He did, of course, have an appearance with the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's a, it's kind of a bit of an easier um, release for Hasbro to do. As you know, this is probably the third or fourth different Star-Lord at this point um, in the MCU sort of range of Legends. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't banking on this one being a good one, but... Uh, so I kind of left him till last. Um, but now that I have him in hand, I actually really like it. In the box, the uh, likeness to Chris Pratt wasn't really there, but looking at it, looking at here in person, I think they've got it looking pretty good. It's just because it's such a flat color. Um, there's no sort of depth to his hair. You know, it was a little bit darker. But I think, you know, in some lights, looks really good you can sort of see it there looking very much Chris Pratty but it's because that the hair is such like a a Scottish red you know auburn sort of you know, it's not brown it's very it's a very reddish color same with the beard um, use just a little bit more I think it would just improve it um, I don't know whether the hair's too big as well. I'm not sure. Nicely sculpted though, I will say. You know, I love all the, the flickers in the hair. I think it looks good. Gee, you can kind of get him on some angles where it just looks really, really good. And the bonus is if you've got an older Star-Lord like I have this one here, uh, which is a bit of a kit bash that I did between the first and the second Star-Lord from each of the first and second films. Um, so I've given him the, the Yeah Baby shirt. Is that you can actually take this, this helmeted head off either of your Star-Lords and put it on this one. And it does fit perfectly. So I'm not going to do it on camera. Just take my word for it. It does fit. Um, one thing I do like about this coat that he's got, this duster coat... I love the big collar on it. I don't know, there's just something something cool about it. It's sort of really, and the sort of flash of blue down the middle there and the Ravager outfit. I don't know, it just kind of really fits in with the uh, with the vibe that sort of Taika Waititi go, goes for in his films. A little bit, you know, a little bit extra colour. A little bit out there and eccentric. I like it a lot. I think, it's, I think it looks cool. And it does just have this sort of belt strap Uh, he has another sort of vest on there underneath, as well as underneath that, just a sort of plain looking shirt by the looks of it. I'm not gonna remove all that. You can just sort of see the joint in there for the ab crunch, but that looks fine. I'm just gonna leave that there. Don't really need to take that off. Uh, the legs are the same as the previous Star-Lord that I've shown you. They've not, you know, given us new legs. They don't really need to. Um, I haven't looked as to whether it's just like super duper accurate or not, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just legs, you know, his boots. Add a little bit more color to them this time. If we look, if we look at them, just sort of plain black. This one actually has like the sort of underboot, and some buckles on it, looks good. Same belt, same sort of holders for his blasters here. Um, they will sort of fit just into the trigger slot there. And then, yeah. Sort of fits under his coat, which looks good. I like the details on the coat. There's a few other elements here, like the, the bronzes and the golds. I think that looks nice. That sort of shoulder armor piece there. Bit of a brace on his arm. I'm pretty sure these are a newer arm, just because they don't they are pinless, so that's nice. Whereas this older one, you know, very similar in sculpt, but um, yeah, definitely done away with the pins, which is nice. Probably like the weathering on this old one a little bit more, more given that it is weathered. <laughs> um, whereas this new one, you know, it's just sort of a matte, flat plastic look. But again, not, not a big deal. So yeah, not, not a bad addition at all. Like if you want a nice upgraded 
Star Lord. This is this is a good one. I know they're going to go with a slightly more. I know there's been some set pictures from uh, James Gunn, James Gunn's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Three, where they're going for a little bit more of a comic accurate outfit, which is really cool. The sort of more um, navy blues. So I'm I'm really really excited for that and see Chris Pratt as as Peter Quill rocking that outfit. I think that'll look fantastic. But yeah, not a bad figure at all. I'm really surprised with this one. It was going to be my, uh, you know, the fact that I've had a couple of Star Lords now, um, and yeah, I didn't really feel like I need to get another one. But uh, now that I've got it in hand, I'm happy I've got it. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Sound out in the comments down below. That would be sweet. And uh, yeah, next up we've got Valkyrie. So stay tuned for that one. So thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.